hey y'all again i'm gonna make a couple of videos today because <laughs> my day was rattled and i do got some positive in my day i just had to get the negative out to um to come i guess to bring me back to myself so i don't use my negative energy in the wrong way but this one gonna be positive because like I said I did have some positive in my day I've learned how to do the trailers today which is something I've been crying about for the last week I um I get to learn inbound with the parts coming off the truck how to put them up how to scan them into location um I got to work with a team Everybody was on the same page. Wasn't no outside of the little beef I had this morning inside my circle and who I was working with. Everything was all cool. We got our job done. We did our shit. We got out of there. I don't have no friends at work, but they were cool. We did vibe. I wouldn't act shady or funny towards them unless they did it towards me, which I don't really see happening. But I get to talk about. I'm just ex I'm, I mean, I'm excited that I got to to learn how to load the trucks. Now I do have to work on stacking racks. I'm gonna try to get that in tomorrow. I'm gonna try to be more on the high low, just to just to prove that I'm not just in this bitch talking. That I will work and I show up for my work. I'm I'm. Want to be a jack of all trades. I don't want you to bottle me into one area and I'd be stuck there like I was for two years. I want to hit the ground running. I want to come in this bitch just in case that team lead position opened up. I want to have everything down. So when you come to me, you come and correct. I'm not telling you no bullshit. I'm not feeding you no bullshit. I'm feeding you what's the real shit to do on this job to save all of us. You feel me? Build a team that's going to work together. You wouldn't have to worry about the rest of it. At least that's how I'm trying to come. Like, me and this guy, and one of the new guys, we was talking about the work ethic in, in, in me and other people, but more so in myself. And like I told him, bro, coming in this job, I bust my ass for two years. Anything I do in here, I deserve it. I earned my spot in this bitch. I came in here my first two months the job they had me on i mastered it i mastered it so good they had me floating around you feel me once they put me into this little area called small lot my first week working in small lot i got hit in the shoulder by the little moving the moving cart so i'm in this bitch working literally with one arm my first two weeks of learning my job that i self-taught because the girl that was supposed to teach me only told me the basics. She's like, scan the location, scan the part, and then scan how many you need out. That's it. And she walked out my aisle. When they sent her back to help me, she kept catching the attitude. She was scanning her parts out and keep walking on my aisle. So I literally had to learn my route by myself with one arm. So I was explaining this to her, bro, like, nigga, my hand was like the size of the nutty professor. You feel me? Like, and I was low in seniority. They treated me like I was a fucking temp. The jobs they didn't want to do, that's what they called me to do. And I caught on to that shit, but I, I ate it because it's like, I'm getting this experience. If I go anywhere else, I got this experience. You can't take the experience out of me. Plus, if it's ever a position where I wanted to come up and be supervisor, if I wanted to run this bitch, I want to know everything about this job so I could run this bitch to prove a point. And I was telling them like shit. We used to have a bid and motherfuckers used to bid for the positions I wanted out of spite because they had the seniority. Now we all on the same seniority. So I'm going for everything I couldn't get from the old old business before they switched names and switched over to who they is now. When I tell you, I learned the route. They kept putting me on the biggest routes they had in the building. And I ate them bitches. Every route they gave me, I learned it. I perfected it. And I got it down packed. I learned all the parts that they had thrown at me. 
Even that bitch was like 50, 60 apart. I get done 15, 20 minutes at the most. I run through that shit. If I had time, I'm helping other people on their route. Like, I was in there busting my ass. When it came to overtime, bro, I was doing three doubles a week by choice to get my money. You feel me? To show these motherfuckers I'm in here to get my money and go home. And that shit paid off because the supervisor started noticing me. And then I started talking to them and help when they needed help on something. I would lend that hand, do this job because shit, I want to know. What you doing? What you over here working on? Can I work with you? Do you need my help? They say, yeah, I'm working with them. On the computers, looking up parts and shit. I ain't let them know that I could do that shit. But yeah, I spent well, well earned time with them supervisors learning that shit. When it was time for us to go in before we went into quarantine and they was talking about switching over to the, to, to the new uh, company. Our general manager, no lie, our general manager was sitting in the office with the other supervisors and they was just in there chilling on their break. And I walked in doing my job to talk to my general manager about some shit that I had going on at the time. And he was in there with the the guy who was taking over the new company, they general manager. And he told he was telling him how we had got into it and how I'm one of his best workers now. And the general manager was like, um, how good is she as a worker? No lie. Like, my general manager was like, oh, she's a hell of a worker. She outworked any nigga out there on the floor. And I just smiled. Like, don't be modest. He like, he like, she smiled, but she good at what she do. He was like, we had our little incident at the beginning. And then I explained the, the general manager of the new company that we with. Now, he asked me, like, what happened? I started laughing. Like, no. Nah. He was just, we just had a rough start because I got hit by the, uh, I got hit by the top hats and we both had the wrong attitude and I cussed him out because I feel like he was trying to play with my intelligence and we laughed it off and he was like, yeah, she started off rough. She was behind. She couldn't catch on. She had one arm and she still came to work every day and still did what I asked her to. And we laughed. Like, I'm like, yeah, because you weren't about to shut me up. And I wasn't about to, you, I was not about to be defeated. You feel me? Like, no, nah, you wanted me to quit and I wanted you to fire me. So, shit, we working against each other. We turned out to be best of friends. And he started laughing. Like, ain't that crazy how it worked? I'm like, yeah, because I earned my spot to be here. And he said it right then and there. He said, you did. He said, you went from struggling to learn it to being a goat around here. The supervisor called me to go. And I laughed like, bro, don't, don't start labeling me. I start getting the wrong attention. And that's how that happened before we went on shutdown. So when we went on quarant when we went into quarantine and we came back and the, the general manager, the, the owner, I mean, the general manager of the company that it is now, when he came back and we was in there working and I was doing my doubles, I got the chance to sit down with him on second shift. And he was asking me was I considering working for them. And I told him like, yeah, I wouldn't mind. 